collateralized debt obligations that is CDO CDOs are financial tools and these are structured from fixed income generating assets so these fixed income generating assets they are also called reference assets and these can be in the form of bank loans or bonds etc so here there is a party called originator who creates the fixed income generating assets like a bank so these assets are called reference assets these reference assets if they are loans then they may be in the form of auto loans or they may be in the form of home loans or any other type of loans in this process how CDOs are created now this originator such as a bank it transfers these assets to a special purpose vehicle so the credit risk goes to the special purpose vehicle along with the credit risk the right to cash in flows also goes to the special purpose vehicle and these auto loans or home loans these are removed from the balance sheet of the originator so they go to the balance sheet of the special purpose vehicle now what does this special purpose vehicle do with these on the basis of the future recovery from these loans the special purpose vehicle creates marketable securities and those marketable securities are categorized into different categories according to the risk they carry thereafter the investors make investment in these securities so those investors are basically funding the CDOs so here we have a large number of investors they are primarily paying cash to special purpose vehicle and purchasing these securities from special purpose vehicle now these investors they are categorized into three categories so those who are making investment they are categorized into three categories one representing those assets which are highly rated assets but they their yield is low so they are called senior investors the second category of investors is mezzanine so they are entitled to have low rated assets but those low rated assets they are high yield assets and third category is that of equity investors so they get rights over those assets which are unrated those securities which are unrated but these carry very high yield so all the investors they are categorized into three categories first is a senior having rights over high rated securities but there is low yield mezzanine rights on low rated securities with high yield equity having rights over unrated assets having very high yield now the repayment or the redemption of these CDOs it is covered by recoveries or cash inflows from these assets from the reference assets so these reference assets over a time period will be recovered so what the investors get so they are getting amount of recovery amount of cash flow because investors have right over the future cash flows because they have purchased the risk now they have the obligation to face the risk and they have paid cash to special purpose vehicle 
in return for acquiring these assets. Now types of CDOs. CDOs are of two types. One is called asset backed securities. So these are asset backed securities and others are called structured credit products when credit default swaps are used. So when we are using credit default swaps then these CDOs become structured credit products otherwise they are asset based backed securities. Now what is the benefit to different parties? So first of all let us see what is the benefit to the originer, originator. So originators the funds received by the originator he can invest in new loans. So when he is selling he is transferring these loans to special purpose vehicle and getting cash from the special purpose vehicle so he can invest that amount in new loans. Second the credit risk in these assets is transferred to the investors. The third the capital required by the originator to create these assets so that capital gets free. To that extent his capital requirement is reduced. Now second benefit to special purpose vehicle. Special purpose vehicle basically is an investment bank. What is the benefit? So he is getting commission. So he is getting non-fund based business or fee based business. Now what is the benefit to the investor? Now this investor he is getting additional revenue to invest and get better returns. So that is how the CDO functions. Thank you friends for watching this video.